I am not gonna compete for October 21st. <laughs> I'm disappointed, but before I explain all that, here's what happened for the past week. Try training on Tuesday. Body was still not ready, so I did very light movements working on shoulders, arms basically, nothing too heavy. Then I took a day off, decided to come back again and try the program. I was able to go further with it. I didn't get to do squats, but I did manage a good leg workout and then worked a lot more on abs. Then came Thursday, I had a lot more strength and decided to go all the way with my program. You can see I'm dying up here, that's great. Overall, happy, my energy came back and I was able to do a full program. I'm starting to feel a little bit more like myself. I decided to try on my posing shoes. There we go. <sighs> Excited and worried. I'm about three weeks out. Yep. Okay, let's practice posing. I know the time does not stand still. Can see the because that's where my program is there and I just look through what I need to do but of late I figured this is a much better method you have a clipboard and you got your program you don't have technology except for maybe a timer on your watch and then I can jot down everything sometimes this is just a much better method compared to using your phone too many distractions that like you stop and you stare at the Instagram maybe for a short while so having a clipboard with your program kind of better I don't always recommend to put makeup when you're working out but sometimes you gotta meet people and the one that 
I'm using for myself since I don't have my extensions anymore, or at least for the time being. The eyeliner I'm using is Makeup Forever Professionals Aqua Ink Liner XL. I love it because it's waterproof and it can draw those really fine wing lines that I love, the cat eye. Mascara I'm using is Too Faced Better Than Sex. I don't really know if that is actually true or not, but uh, it does work quite well. I've been using it for nearly a week over. Even when I go into the shower with the mascara, it stays on. It really, really lengthens my lashes so yeah there you go the sweating is the best time to really test out the makeup and see if it stays on your face so here we go back home and thought i'd just share a little bit on how i'm feeling and thinking for the past couple of weeks to be honest, with the whole getting sick and, and not being able to train, I felt very demotivated. There were, I think, quite a number of times where I just felt like giving up and I just don't feel like doing the second comp. It's a very different journey compared to the first one. My mind was very clear and very focused, except this time around, um, external factors playing a part to really external factors and it affects your mind because uh, things that you think about th that is stress levels going up cortisol level going up on top of that when you train cortisol also goes up and that just comes by down to mindset I know I'm just making excuses while I was training on Saturday as usual I'm always listening to inspirational speeches I don't really listen to music there was one line that resonated with me and I wanted to share that with you which was you have to finish what you start and I said I was gonna do my second comp and the whole point of the second comp was to get top five it's for me to hold myself accountable when I do this and I challenge myself if I can put myself through all these kind of things then other people can too I think the thing that made me think more positively about it were two things. One was seeing myself in my posing shoes and also in the bikini that I probably am going to be wearing for that day and also doing my Fit and Fab Talk 101. I'm going to get myself ready by hook or by crook. I'll get myself ready for October 21st. I'm going to give it whatever I've got. It's so funny because in that previous video I was saying that uh, I gotta finish what I started. Today I got a message from my coach and he's asking how's your nutrition? Can you send photos? I told him my nutrition wasn't on point because I was sick and I sent my photos. I asked him is it salvageable? Can I be ready for the comp? And he said in all honesty I need more than three weeks. That just <laughs> <laughs> it disappointed me so much because it hit me that I have been in denial for quite some time thinking that I can do it. I honestly wanted to go into emotional eating. I wanted to grab a fat ass burger, some french fries and a nice big slice of cake and just eat it and wallow my sorrows. I thank god that my boyfriend was there to calm me down and I trained and my coach was saying it's okay. Just focus on the next comp. There's no point, like how he was nice at putting it, of going in half-hearted, because then all the effort I've put in, all the time at the gym, all those times meal prepping my food, calculating everything into fitness pal would be for nothing, right? If I'm gonna go on stage, I wanna make sure that I look my best and make sure that I get the top five because that was what I said I was gonna do, right? Get myself in the top five. It's honestly not cheap. Competing is a very expensive hobby and challenge for anybody. Pretty certain everything, if I calculate it all, is five digits. Yep, the, the online training, the supplementation, the food. I haven't even talked about my 
costume, my, my bikini itself, my posing shoes, and then flying over to a different country to compete and then registration. So yes, it's a very expensive sport. Coach is saying it's all right, let's start afresh and just make sure that I'm focused for the upcoming comp. This is almost like a deja vu when I told myself in my first video I was gonna get myself ready for the stage. Well, now I'm making another one for myself that I'm gonna get ready for the stage later on this year and make sure that I get into the best possible physique I can and get top five. That is my goal and I'm gonna finish what I started. For anyone who's having a tough time, I get it, you know, when things, other factors affect you and you really don't feel like doing what you set out to do because you're just human. But when you decide that you are going to do something and you're going to fulfill it, that's where you build character. So I'm going to build my character and I hope you're building your character too. With that, I leave you for the vlog. Which competition am I going to join? I'll share that with you in the next video. I need to do some thinking. But in the meantime, show this girl some love. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. And let's see what happens next week. I wish you a blessed week ahead. And saying as always, may the gains be forever in your favor.